Welcome to our training video. In this video, I'll show you how to create a digital coupon. Download the toolkit in the video description to create the same coupon as me. First, at a minimum, switch to the silver package to follow my lead. To do this, I'll go to Plans and Prices and select at least the silver package. Then I'll click Upgrade and close the Plans and Prices screen. Are you ready? Let's go! We'll start with General Settings. I'll go to the dashboard and press Create Coupon. Click Regular Coupon, then select the Coffee House template. This is your coupon builder. Let's start at the general settings of the coupon. Keep in mind you can hover over the question marks for more information. First, give the coupon a name. Your customers won't see this name, it's only visible for the admin. Also, fill out the issuer by entering your company name. Those are the most basic settings you'll need to enter. Now let's go to the time zone. This is a very important setting for a coupon. Make sure you set it right, otherwise it will affect your statistics in the end. With the start date, you specify when the coupon is available. The expiration date gives you the power to set up a fixed date when the coupon becomes unavailable. The flexible expiration date makes it possible to set up an expiration date which is based on the open date of the coupon. Now I'll show you the Show Expiry Counter feature. If you enable Expiry Counter, there's an Expiry Counter shown on your coupon. You can alter the text near the counter. Here you can see what the coupon looks like with and without the counter. It's also possible to alter the Powered By settings. Enter your company name and the website. If someone clicks on the Powered By text in the footer of your coupon, they will be redirected to your website. Let's go on to the Layout section. This is where you customize the look and feel of your digital coupon. For the coupon style, we'll select Rounded. Upload your logo, and then make sure you pay close attention to the recommended sizes. Also upload the coupon image. It's time to alter the colors of your template coupon. If you have downloaded the toolkit, you can use the hexa codes I'm using in this video. There are two ways to alter the colors. Use the swiper or paste the hexa code in the window. Choose the Montserrat font type and adjust the font color to black. Alter the button color and button hover color. The button hover color is visible when someone presses the button. Finally, let's set up a solid background color. The home page is the first page of your coupon. Compose a clear title, a descriptive subtitle, and use a clear call to action as button text. For this example, I'm using 30% sale as a title. Keep in mind, this title is also displayed on the claim page. For subtitle, I'll use this weekend. and continue will be my button text. Let's go on to the claim actions. You can choose one of the claim actions in the list or choose not to use a claim action at all. I'll use enter personal data. 
compose the description which will be visible above the form in the coupon. Based on the settings we're choosing, customers will have to enter their last name, email address, and city before they're allowed to use the coupon. You can make it required or voluntary. It's up to you. All the captured data is carefully stored within the coupon statistics. We'll change the button text to Proceed. Now let's set up your After Claim page. The first feature is the Adjust Validity Time After the Claim Method was completed. Either choose that the coupon is valid until it expires, or when a certain amount of time has passed after the coupon was opened. We'll leave it set to Until the Coupon Expires. If you select Skip to Validation, users will automatically continue to the validation page of the coupon without seeing the Save options. Set up a title for the After Claim page. Enter Thank You as your title. The description text needs to instruct the user what to do next. For this example, we'll enter Save, Share, or Use the Coupon. Now let's modify the text for the Redeem button. This is the button users will press to go to the validation page. I'm entering Use Coupon as my button text. Enable the Share Coupon feature and customize the button text. The coupon user can now share the coupon with friends. Now let's look at save methods. The user can either use the coupon immediately or save the coupon. Select which save methods you allow. For this example, I'm only using the most common one, save to email. If you select skip to validation, users will automatically continue to the validation page of the coupon without seeing the save options. Let's look at validation methods. The validation page is the last page of your coupon. Set up a title and description text for the validation page. Display the coupon value and set up validation methods to mark the coupon as used. My title on the validation page will be Show this page to cashier. Select if you want to show the value on the validation page. I'm going to show it, but not with the label value in front of it. Select None in the drop-down menu. Enter 30% sale as your coupon value. Let's select a secure validation method now. There are many options. Validation widget, display your own codes, validate by QR code, on user's device, by password or by barcode. I'm going to use validate on user's device combined with a password. Follow my lead. First, I disable the validate on merchant's device feature. Validate on user's device stays enabled. Also, I'll require a password to validate to make it more secure. If you require a password, compose your secret master password in the window below. I'm using 1234 as my password. If the coupon is successfully validated, users reach the After Validation page. It's the confirmation page that the coupon is validated and the user has received their discount. Set up a title and description for After Validation. It's mainly used to thank the user for using the discount. My title After Validation will be Thank You. My description text will be Have a Great Day. And finally, let's look at Preview. Now it's time to preview the digital coupon that we've set up to see the customer's experience. Press the Preview button in the menu. This is your coupon home page. Press Continue. On the Claim page, fill out the form. And then press Proceed. On the After Claim page, choose if you want to save, share, or use the coupon. 
The validation page is what customers show to the cashier. The cashier then enters the password on the user's device to mark the coupon as used. The after validation page is the last page. The customer has successfully used the coupon. I hope you enjoyed this training video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact the support team.